Um, first, for the people at Univision here, go tell your bosses they might want to put some real Latinos, like the black and brown ones, you know? Because um, it'd be nice for Univision one time to actually represent my daughter and Latinos that look like me and Latinos that are suffering all over the world. And for the Univision, I, I got comments for you afterwards. <laughs> but first and foremost, I'm really happy to be here. I just relocated from Brooklyn, um, from New York City, and I understand the media inside and out. As part of the hip-hop generation, we battle a giant called Hot 97, the number one hip-hop radio station in the country. Our initial call to action in, was in late January 2005. When, um, so in late January 2005, when commercial owned Hot 97 aired its now infamous Tsunami song. As other communities were targeted by this horrific song, we as hip hop had to say, Hot 97, you say hip hop lives here and we say it doesn't. So many people have such a misunderstanding of hip hop and it was done on purpose. Hip hop being a $1 billion industry has now become an industry that serves interests of elite people in my community. It serves the interests of a Bob Johnson, a Deborah Lee, a Christina Norman, and many black and Latino elite executives that have done everything in their little bit of power to lock out working class black and Latino youth voices, which is why most people think hip hop is 50 cent and don't understand that hip hop is a culture that is all over the world, that includes five elements, that hip hop began in the South Bronx because black and Latino youth were silenced. They were silenced and hip hop became the voice of the voiceless. When Chuck D came out in the 80s with Public Enemy and said hip hop is the black CNN, the corporate elite said that we have to shut it down. And they did everything in their power of doing that. Which is why 50 Cent, Jay-Z, all of these rappers, rappers, not hip-hoppers, Puffy, all of them, even Russell Simmons, who are all, all owned by Universal, when it really comes down to it, their interests don't lie with the issues that are affecting black and Latino people. 50% male unemployment rate, 54% Hispanic dropout rate, the prison industrial complex, Katrina. There's an MC by the name of Chameleonaire that has a song called The Evening News. And in it he says, I would like to talk about Katrina, but every time I do, they look at me like it's a misdemeanor. Dead Prez has a song that says, turn off the radio. What's on the radio? Propaganda, mind control? That's what's going on. When I had Alicia in January of 2005, the same year the Tsunami song aired, I was home on Dr. King's birthday and I heard that song on the airwaves that said to the, uh, to the song, We Are the World, as your African and Asian people and chinks were dying. That's what they made fun of. And someone on the top signed off on that Hot 97 DJ to do this. Ms. Jones didn't do that on her own. Someone on the top, a 50 plus year old white man said, that is okay. The same white man that said that in a meeting four weeks later said to us, I don't let my kids listen to that music. And we said to him, but it's okay for you to be a multi-millionaire in Indiana and let my child listen to it? It's poison. And it's no longer, it's an issue of protecting her. To these rallies, we will go into the boardrooms. We will stand up to big media and we will say, this cannot be. This will not be. This shall not be. We know that we have great and positive people out there who are trying to make a difference in the lives of our children. We will stand with you wherever you are, whether it's in Georgia, whether it's in Gina, whether it's in New Orleans, we will be there, we will stand up, and we will say big media must go because we've got a job to do to make this a democracy for all the people, including women of color and all women, we will be there, and I thank Rosa for the work that she is doing, and all of you for being here this morning. I see that our closing speaker is here, and so I just thank all of you for being here. Keep on keeping on. I love you. Thank you, and God bless.
There's nowhere with like my airways and I want to get more. People think that their news should be local. I don't think that they should have a choice. Problem is that they are way too vocal. They would be better off with just one voice. There's no airways like my airways and I want to get more. The FCC is always there to help me. They let me have Fox News and New York Post. I give money to George Bush and Hillary, but I'm so rich that I don't have to vote. There's no airways like my airways and I want to get more. Tom and Dick and Harry want to have a show, but I'm the man who has got the dough. For those who think that there should be voices from below, they will miss what they don't know.